Okay, <clears throat> it's me again. Uh, just wanted to make another video to mostly uh, explain myself. I don't think I've been real clear in what I've been doing. Uh, I really want to help other people do this because it's really not that hard if I can do it and uh, make yourself free power. Anyways, uh, originally I had uh, a couple of these big what I've been calling driver coils. They're actually like Bedini says to make and they, uh, they'll they turn the wheel on their own. <clears throat> All three of these will. I've made a third but uh, originally I had uh, I was using a driver coil and uh, a bunch of these smaller coils around it and they were generating power. Uh, this one right here actually pumped out about 207 volts. Here's my boat that I don't really use as much as I should because I'm a Badini freak now. <laughs> this was interesting. Didn't work, but I just got a tiny little spark off of it. When I had the uh, the uh, voltage making coils on it, I was really hoping that that would work. But anyways, Jacob's ladders are fun. Um, but anyways, I've made uh, another driver coil. I've got it on the wheel and it does make it go faster these uh... these uh... the more these big driver coils uh... you put on they, it does go faster uh... really eluded me there at the beginning because uh... with the extra magnets and weight on my wheel it got quieter and i guess i was judging my speed by uh... the thumping <laughs> but anyways also i wanted to point out um, that originally I had these two coils. Let's see how they're in sync with each other, the magnets. And now I've got this one out of sync. I did test each one of these by themselves and then with this one, you know, over here with that one. And then I tested um, them alone uh, or with that one over here. And the speed seems to be the same. And yes, I am paying better attention to the speed. Anyways, I want it to go faster to drive my um, alternator. If you can pick that out of the junk pile. Anyways, um, it does go much faster. And having your uh, coils out of sync like this, maybe if I tinkered with it and found a sweet spot, it would go faster a little bit. And that's probably something I need to do. But um, anyways, it doesn't seem to make a difference if it's in or out of sync there. But anyways, I'll give you a quick viewing. I made a switch here. Sick of uh, the self oscillations after and having to bend down and unhook it. The camera I noticed um, doesn't do the best job showing the wheel in action here spinning because of this uh, effect that's going on. It's going about as fast as it was with one actually about a minute, 30 seconds ago. It's going faster and faster and faster. With three it hums. And there's wicked torque. When I go to stop that thing it takes 10 seconds, 20 seconds, it's pretty good pressure. And I should be wearing a jock <laughs> because if those magnets fly off, I may be soprano. Still gaining speed. Actually, I'm noticing uh, in the camera here, I can see uh, with this effect, I can see the speed better because it's still picking up speed. Now it seems to be leveling off. But it's moving. <laughs> Easy there, tough guy. Anyways, wanted to share those ideas with you and um, I'm in the process of moving so uh, you may not see a video from me for a while, <laughs> if there's anyone out there counting on it. 
But uh, next video should be uh, probably in a couple weeks. I'm moving the wheel first because uh, otherwise I won't move. And uh, I'm going to make a different wheel. I'm thinking uh, cement <laughs> like Ed. But uh, that would give it really, really good torque. Anyways, wanted to share that with you. Uh, take care. Bye.